Hello, hello, my name is Shavario. Welcome to my channel. And it's good to see you all after <sighs> such a beautiful, beautiful day. So I hope everybody is doing great. Uh, and if you're not doing great, I hope you feel better. I do know that certain circumstances are different. And so my prayers go out to you and your families for you to heal, for you to be blessed, and for you to be healthy, both mentally, physically, and spiritually. So, I hope you all are doing great. And if you're not, I pray for your healing. In the name of the Lord, God. <laughs> so, I just wanted to talk about the image of young black boys. And so, and the reason why is because through my experience, and I have a son, uh, a kingdom child of God. And so what I've noticed is he has long hair. And so I would say about 85, between 85 to 90% of people see young black boys with long hair as girls for some reason now to me it seems like most of society is walking around sleep they're not awake which would explain why the wealth gap is so huge so you have one percenters and then you have 98.9 .9, or however that works of people who are not those one percenters i mean you have multi-millionaires so i'd say about add on another 25 percent because i know some i know some millionaires so i say okay you have the one percenters billionaires multi-billionaires and then you have the multi-millionaires so i say about 25 percent of multi-millionaires and then there's everybody else so that may be about 70% maybe. No, because if it's 90, if it's 98.9%, did I just say that? I said 98, yeah, I did. 98.9% for the one percenters. Now I say 98.9. I know that's like more than 1%, but anyway. And then I say about 25% for multi-millionaires. So we're about at, what, 78? I mean 78, 73%, and then you have everybody else. So, but anyway, get back to the image of a black boy. So I find that a lot of people are walking around sleep because clearly you can see that that black boy with long hair, long braids, or just long straight hair is not a girl. Now, now, that brings me to two conclusions. Either people are walking around sleep or they're attempting to demasculate a young black boy already at a young age. Now, either way, I have a problem with that. Because if a person is walking around sleep, that means no one is really woke. No, I won't say no one, but a good portion of people are not woke. They're, they're, they may not even be conscious. They're just living and functioning just to live. And so that's my issue with that. And then the second one, of course, to demasculate a young black boy. Well, of course that's a problem because our black men are strong and we wanna keep it that way. So, and what I mean demasculate, I don't know if I'm saying the word right, but I'm gonna say it because it sounds good to me right now. When I say demasculate, no, that don't sound right. <laughs> I mean to convince this boy, this black boy, that he looks like a girl so that he may not grow up to become a 
confident, strong, knowing himself, standing in his power, black man, who knows that he is a man. And I say this to black boys, young black boys with long hair, long braids, or even if your hair is straight, I say this to you. Hopefully your parents or parent is teaching you that there are other ethnicity, ethnicities of boys and men with long hair. It's not just you. And I know you know that. But hopefully your parents or parent is teaching you that it's not you. And what I mean by that is it's not you. You don't have the issue. It's people with the issue and they're wanting to veer you in a direction that's not even healthy. Because if you can, if a person can clearly see that a black boy is a boy with long hair, why then call him a girl? or a daughter, when you clearly see he has on boy clothes, when you clearly see that, yes, he's he's very adorable looking, but he's dressed like a boy. And so as parents, we have to, in those moments, nip it right in the bud, say, okay, look, and here's what I do. You know, Les Brown would say, don't practice what you preach, preach what you practice. And so here's what I do. When I see a man or another young boy with long hair, I tell my son, look, you see him? He has long hair, you see that? And he'll say, yes, mommy. And I say, okay, so you see he's a man and he has long hair, long, long as mine, maybe longer but he's a man or that's a boy. You see that? So you, so there are other boys and other men that have long hair other than just you. In the world. Hmm. Might be a bug in here. You know. I heard a bzz, bzz, but anyway get back to it so i do that with my son so that he knows like it's it's okay it's nothing unordinary there are other men and other young boys like yourself that has long hair and you see they're not they they're they feel confident with themselves they they know who they are they they feel comfortable in their skin so you are able to do the same within yourself and know that you don't have the problem. It's other people's perspective that's the issue. So please don't feel like you are to be somebody else by a, by an adult telling me as your mom that you're a girl or, or by calling you a girl. No, because I always teach you, son, you're a boy, okay? You're a handsome boy. And that's the way I do it. So as parents, we have to really just be careful with that and talk to our kids, talk to our children. And and, it's, and if it's that way with a black girl, if, if for some reason somebody is calling her a boy or a son, well, clearly you know that's not true because she's a girl, she's dressed like a girl. She behaves like a girl, she is a girl. Okay, do not call her a boy. Okay, and some may have issue with this. I don't care. I'm just saying there's an issue with people depicting our young black boys as girls and calling them girls when you can clearly see they are not girls. They are boys. We dress them in boy clothes. Okay, they're not walking around in skirts unless, you, unless you're doing that, then that's separate. But for those who are who we have our boys, our young black boys dressed in jeans with nice shoes on, with a shirt on that's covering his torso, okay? Then there's no reason for you to think that that's a girl because he has long hair, okay? His hair is his crown. 
So, it can be irritating, but I just correct people. Like, no, that's, that's my son. That's my son. And I make sure I talk to my son after, right after, to say, look, you're not a girl. You are a boy, okay? You are a boy. They're just, oh, that's just me. They are, that person perspective is wrong. Clearly they're not conscious because they could, because I can see you're a boy. So what, and the thing is, even brothers, black men have come up to me to say, oh, your daughter. And it's like, excuse me, that's a boy. What are you talking about? And please don't say, oh, well, some black boys have really long eyelashes. So, okay, I know my child is adorable. I know that. But he has on boy clothes. Even men, even black men have come, have said that and it's just like, yeah, people aren't really awake. They're not, they're awake. They're not conscious because you wouldn't be calling young black boys, girls with long hair. Okay. And the, and the stereotype is they do that with, I've noticed that they, that society does that with black boys with long hair, but they don't say anything to, and shout out to the other ethnicities, you know, the Samoan young boys, the white young boys, the Asian young boys, shout out to you guys. I have no issue with you. I'm saying what the discrepancy is in our society with our young black boys. When, when society sees a young Samoan boy whose hair is long, probably long as mine, they don't say he's a, he's a girl. They say that he's a boy. So then what is the gap? between they know he's a boy with long hair a young Samoan boy or a young Asian boy or whatever his ethnicity is young Irish boy but they don't call those boys girls when clearly you see that their hair is long sometimes it's up in a bun sometimes the other hat was sometimes it's it's straight but they don't, but society doesn't call those boys girls, but you, but society will call a black young boy, a girl that has braids, long braids or long hair. So you, I, I would like for us to reflect on that. And if you know what I'm talking about, let this go into your mental to, and to be more conscious and aware to say, you're right, I have called some young black boys girls because they have braids or I've seen that same hairstyle on a black young girl and I just and I just assumed that that was a girl. But no, because you would see this young black boy has on pants, he has on a shirt versus this young black girl who has on a dress. Okay, they're not the same. So please, and parents, listen to me, please. Talk to your children, okay? Especially your black boys. These are boys going, going to be black men. And they need to know who they are and stand in their power, be strong in themselves. Because we know if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. And we need our black men. We need our black boys. It's so many black, just, just not, it's so many people, especially in the black community that are creators, engineers, tech, and who could dominate in technology, politicians. I mean, the next generations are going to tackle and be in all of these areas moving forward. It's no different from when for me and you in the same generation, or maybe you're a generation ahead of me and you were born before me. It's no different. So then just think of it as we need, we all need each other. So think of it as 
what's it going to take to nourish our generation that we're already in and then the next generation's moving forward because you got to think somebody that was born in 1964 made a way for me and back then even back in the 1950s and 40s and, and so on nobody could really uh, black and whites couldn't be in the same establishment it was like colors or whites black fountain water fountain white water fountain so what i'm saying is let's let's be mindful of the generations that we're already in and moving forward because again there's going to be somebody coming before you or after you whom is going to make a way for our living to be better for our careers to be on a whole nother level for our environments to to be so improved whether it's recycling whether it's it's solar energy whatever the case may be we all need each other and there's enough power there's enough influence there's enough money for everybody so if some of us think well we're just targeting some because of their ethnicity or by the way they look or their gender or their religion or their whatever it is if they think that they can just target certain people to keep them from higher level mentality first of all that's not working anymore because it's so many opportunities out here so that's out the window but how simple-minded are you to even think that that you would target somebody that you would go so far as to say somebody is something when they're not just because you you're hoping that that will kill their confidence or that that will kill their 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 knowing the of the knowing of getting to know themselves and who they are and how they feel about themselves because in this society it's too many it's too many influences to say you don't have a say so but we all do because we have our own rights how simple minded of a person is that to say look i don't like you and this is what i'm going to tell you so that you don't succeed when that person more than likely is going to succeed anyway and then they create something that you are going to use in the future. So let's just be more mindful. So I say that and we'll be back for another video, but I definitely wanted to get that out there because there has to be more of a conversation with this with young black boys. We need, we need our black boys, we need our black men. So may this find you well and we'll talk soon. Peace y'all.